All right, guys, so today I'm gonna show you the proper way to light your cigars. Let's go. So first and foremost, when we're talking about the best way to light a cigar, I would be remiss if I didn't discuss proper cigar storage. Once you buy a cigar, that cigar kind of has a shelf life if you're not gonna properly store it in a humidity controlled environment. So probably the best way to store your cigar would be in a nice cedar cigar case that has humidity control. A cigar properly stored in a humidor can actually last a really long time. But if you just shove your cigar in a wardrobe or in a closet, it's gonna go stale pretty quickly. You really want the tobacco leaves to stay moist. So one of the ways that I like to store my cigars is just in a Pelican Ruck container. Inside, you will have a gasket that will keep air out. I'm able to store up to eight cigars really well. And then inside that case, I can put a humidity control packet um, that makes sure that my cigars stay at that proper humidity. Now, when it comes to lighting your cigar, um, the first step is going to be to cut the cigar. The quality cigar is gonna come nicely wrapped. On one end, it's gonna be cut. On the other end, it's generally gonna be completely wrapped. Now on the wrapped end, you have the body, you have what they call the shoulder, and this is called the cap. Now when you're trying to cut your cigar, the idea is you need to cut through enough of the cap that you're able to get a nice draw. However, you wanna make sure that you're not cutting so deep into or through the shoulder that the cigar itself becomes unraveled as you smoke it, because that doesn't provide for the most pleasant smoking experience. You start getting a bunch of tobacco in your mouth. Now, one of the easiest ways to cut your cigar is with a simple cigar punch. These are not very expensive and they're just about foolproof. So with a cigar punch, you have kind of a sharp circular end. You can simply push down into the cap of the cigar and then pull it out. And it gives you a nice consistent cut. It's really tough to screw that up. I think a long time ago, people would just use a pocket knife or even their teeth to just cut through um, that layer of, uh, of tobacco leaf. But again, just make sure that you're not going too deep into the shoulder to mess up the wrapping of the cigar. Now, once you have your cigar properly punched or cut, next thing you need to do is to properly light it. And now this is where I think a lot of people kind of screw up. The first draw on a freshly lit cigar is the most important. That's where you're actually going to experience that flavor for the first time. And I would say that where most people make a mistake is actually in the lighting of the cigar. Now I see two common mistakes that people make. Number one is they torch the crap out of it. Oftentimes you will see these high power torches that I think uh, just burn the tobacco leaves and it does alter the flavor a little bit. And then on the other end of the spectrum, some people will just use something like a Bic lighter or a kerosene based Zippo, which actually introduces a chemical flavor into the cigar. And that also negatively impacts the flavor of it. So the best way to light the cigar is you want to, number one, be able to light it without just charring or burning the tobacco leaves. And number two, you don't want to introduce an offensive flavor into that cigar. So the ways that I like to do it is with either a long wooden match specifically designed for lighting cigars or just a simple cedar stick. Now you can buy pre-manufactured pieces of cedar to be able to do it. I will just actually take a cedar log from my wood pile and cut pieces of cedar. Now safety tip here, make sure you have a safe place to put your cedar stick so that you're not causing a fire hazard. So what I'll do is I will simply light the cedar. And then you're gonna hold your cigar, try to hold it up above the flame. You want it just kind of barely touching the flame, if at all. If I can light my cigar without uh, even touching the flame, that would be ideal. And then you're just gonna slowly rotate the cigar in the heat. To 
feel like it's nice and evenly lit. You're just kind of kissing the flame to the cigar. And I'm just gonna continue that process until I've got the whole cigar lit. And then you enjoy. So there you have it, fellas. The proper way to light your cigar. Good storage, get a proper cut, and then use the proper lighting technique so that you're not charring the cigar and you're not introducing any offensive chemicals into the cigar for that perfect initial draw. And remember guys, it doesn't matter if you are smoking the finest Cuban cigars or something that doesn't even have a label on it, as long as you wear your watches.